guys, hi guys, how's everybody doing? My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 7.55 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Monday the 13th of June. Alexa, the weather. Alexa, the weather in Rochester. Alexa, the weather. In Rochester. It's 14 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather with a high of 21 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. So guys, um, I'm at home uh, and it's a lovely sunny morning. I haven't got to take kids to school. Uh, my kids are all grown up. My youngest is 16 and my eldest is um, 25 so I don't take kids to school so most people are taking their kids back to school after a long like, jubilee weekend and a, lot, a, a half term week um, I went to my mum's yesterday and sat down and there was no noise at all um, really no noise at all, just the, the noise from outside by the bus stop where people talk when they get off the bus because there's a bus stop just above my mum's flat at the top that leads down to the shops. Um, so there wasn't any real noise like I get in here. Um, Making things easy, I'm not cross. Um, it was loud this morning, but I think they've gone out. Let's get my coffee. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? How did the moon cut its hair? Eclipse it. Eclipse it. Very funny. Alexa, thought of the day. Holiday in Steinmark, Maundy Thursday, Epiphany, St. Norde's Day, Holiday in Vermont and others. I don't know what she meant by that. Alexa, can you put LBC radio on, please? Alexa, can you put LBC radio on, please? LBC London from Global Player. 
we have. There's lots in this strategy today about skills and tech and making the food industry a really good place for young people to want to come and work. And that's also part of the solution, as is automation. All right, and lastly, the Northern Ireland Protocol. We're going to hear more about that today from some of your colleagues. Um, can British sausages currently be successfully exported to Northern Ireland, Minister? And if not, what's going to be done about it? It's really difficult. We have a series of... Um, we've put in place a series of easements which enable us to do those exports at the moment. However, there are difficulties, while well, not with sausages, with other products which we might want to export. Seed potatoes, for example oak trees for the Queen's Jubilee that we are currently unable to send to Northern Ireland in the way that we'd want to from GB. So it's, it's clear to me that while some aspects of the protocol are working, and with those easements we've put in place, things can travel, there are real difficulties. What do we need to hear then later to either? And um, why on earth can't we send oak trees to Northern Ireland for the Queen's Jubilee? Oh, it's so frustrating. Some of the ways in which um, uh, the rules have been interpreted and the inflexibility shown by our Friends. partners in the EU have been extremely frustrating. Um, what is important is both that we put this legislation in place in case we're not able to come to an agreement, but also that we put a lot of welly into coming to sensible arrangements with the EU. I'm sure we can in order to make sure that goods can flow freely, not just north-south, but also east-west. It's really important that we do that. Grateful for your time. Thank you very much indeed for coming on the show. Victoria Prentice, Minister of State for Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, appearing here on LBC, where uh, one minute after the news is next. On your radio, on Global Player, and... Hey, LBC. Leading Britain conversation. This is LBC. From Global News Room at 8 o'clock, Britain's economy has contracted for the second month in a row. Official figures show GDP fell by 0.3% in April, following a 0.1% drop in March. The decline was largely due to the ending of the government's COVID-19 test and trace program. Susanna Streeter is a markets analyst at Harbury's Lansdowne. We think services, production and construction all shrinking. Manufacturers are saying that uh, they're facing more problems with energy and fuel cost hikes. Interestingly though, it does seem that actually consumer facing services where we would expect households to rein in their spending first aren't reducing activity. So actually output has risen there. Plans to rip up parts of the Brexit agreement with the EU will be introduced in Parliament later. Ministers insist they won't be breaking international law by unilaterally overriding elements of the Northern Ireland Protocol. The government said it will also publish a summary of the legal advice. The High Court is due to hear a second challenge over the government's policy to fly some asylum seekers to Rwanda. It's been brought by the refugee charity Asylum Aid. Other campaigners are going to the Court of Appeal challenge Friday's ruling that the first flight can go ahead tomorrow. A new food strategy for England is being laid out by the government. It sets out how ministers want the country to grow and eat more of its own food to help guard against future economic shocks. But there's criticism that there are no plans for a tax on sugar and salt in processed foods, as recommended in a review. Environment Minister Victoria Prentice has told Nick there are other ways to tackle obesity. We know that there was real success with a levy on
on the 27th of September. And my mother's birthday is on the 14th of May. Right? So, you know, I'm not an old lady. I'm not going to act like an old lady. I'm going to act like a sensible, middle-aged woman of 53 that I am. I'm not a circus animal. I'm not people's entertainment. And if there's cars parked on the pavement, right, they're violating traffic laws. That's up to them. And we know in the, in the world that I live in, it's not real. I've seen bikes in shops, motorcycles, dogs in the pound shop, and I've seen cars parked on the pavement, and God knows elsewhere, right? But, you know, I've got to go out, I've got to go to the dentist, I've got to go to the doctors, I'm a normal human being, I've got to go and get my food, get my clothes, get my shoes, and things, and whatever stupid things people do, how they treat me is their business. I'm ignoring it, right? Like upstairs this morning, the kid was battering the balcony, like on the balcony, and, you know, I'm ignoring it. I am not an angry person. When you have your child taken away for you um, through lies, and you lose all your kids and you're left by yourself, you do get a tad angry. When you've suffered domestic violence and the police have done nothing to help you, you do get angry. When you've been beaten up in the street and are left to walk home by yourself with broken glasses and no one helps you, you do get angry. When an ambulance comes out and you've been punched in the face and the ambulance crew goes down to your parents and asks them if you're okay, and leave you sat in the living room with bruises, you do get a tad angry. Right? I've had nine teeth pulled out. I'm going to the dentist because another one's playing up. Right? And if you want a gummy mummy, you know, every time you make noises, then you, you, you're horrible to me and I get pain in my teeth. So eventually, one by one, they'll all get pulled out, yanked out with pliers. Is that what you want? A gummy mummy. Is it? Because that's what you're doing when you're making all loads of noise and being horrible and nasty and causing me stress. Causes me to have tooth pain. And then I have another tooth yanked out. And what's attractive with a woman with no teeth? Is that what you want? Because that seems, that's what it seems like to me. And this, this rumour where I'm a slag and a slut, I haven't been with a man for six years. And my life, last friend was Graham, who left me two months before my 50th birthday. I'm now 53. I've had no gentleman company for three years. So where's this bullshit coming from? That I'm free and easy. That's rubbish. Everyone being horrible as they usually are, that suits me just fine. 